listening, in, folks. You listen to Blue Please here on Wow Radio with myself, Tolo Biscuit. I'm almost done for the show, but we're going to attempt to have an illusion of choice. Now, you guys sent me some really terrible topics this week. I'm sorry. I mean, one guy sent me a topic that I'd already talked about and said I was going to talk about. Like, Battlegrounds versus Arenas. Good lord, I already talked about that. I said at the start of the show I'd mention it. Good lord. I had someone asking, like, why not talk about violent games or Guildhouse and City of Heroes? Well, no, because that's got nothing to do with anything. Or oh, wow. Some guy also managed to come up with a even more ridiculous shared set of items. This is, uh, the callous hearted gauntlets have the same model as 58. 50 freaking 8 different gloves. I mean, good lord. Oh well. So yeah, I think you can, you can successfully win on that one. Now, are there any good illusion of choice topics? Well, that is a great question. I'm going to have a quick look at this right now. Originality. Hmm. Hey TB, what do you think about Blizz going for an easy way and reusing the old gods from Lovecraft masterpieces? I don't get what is wrong with creating something original. If this will continue next patch, we we'll might to uh, travel to the ancient city of Aurele and face the ancient Supernagaroth and her scary folk. Oh, I would pay, I would pay real, real internet money to go and kill Supernagaroth. Seriously, in Aurele. I would. I'm a sucker for Chthonian and Lovecraftian stuff. Okay, we'll talk about that for a little while. I think people do underestimate the influence that popular culture and indeed everything has on World of Warcraft as a game. There are huge, huge numbers of popular culture things within this game. I mean, Harris Pilton, prime example there. All sorts of stuff. There's references all over the bloody place. And I think that actually was what gives some of WoW its charm. And yes, having chthonic style gods you know, Chthonic style goes with Chthun and stuff like that. I think that that is something that lends itself well to the universe that we are currently playing in. Yeah? Having yogg Saron being, you know, I, if you look at, at that name, that is pretty similar to an old god, yeah? you got old gods in Lovecraftian lore and Chthonic style stuff, and then you've got the old gods here. Having old gods is cool because old gods are a terrifying concept. They make for good enemies. They're very cool. I like that kind of thing. I'd actually like to see a bigger horror element in WoW. There's not an awful lot of it. Really. I think that Wrath has introduced a little bit more of it, but it's always been somewhat cartoony and somewhat comic -y. I don't mind Blizzard boring that kind of stuff because I'm not really big into the lore anyway, and a lot of the lore seems to be reading like fan fiction these days, particularly with a lot of the stuff that's coming out in the quests. I don't think the law of WoW is particularly strong, and I don't think it really needs to be. This is not a law-based game. If you want a game that's got strong law, then go play Lord of the Rings Online. Now, personally, the questing in that really bored me, but if you like the law behind the game, you would love the questing in that game. Good lord. It's ideal. That's what it was built around. And they did it very well, but WoW not so much. WoW's like, hey, do thing, get item. You know, press the button and a pellet comes out. And the entertainment that is provided by the world is done so in a more upfront, less subtle manner. And indeed, a manner which really takes liberties with its own lore and backstory when necessary in order to create something amusing. I think WoW is a very fun game in that respect, and it puts out this fun atmosphere, and that's what it tries to do. And I'm okay with that, because a lot of the more hardcore -ish, evil -er stuff can be found in raid instances. And the stuff outside of it, well, that's a little bit more fun and a little bit silly. We've still got that thing about the fruit vendor in Shatrath. Like, hey, you are, I have crushed an apple fruit vendor, this will not be the last, haha. -ha. And Grifter, you know, Grifter became a piece of storyline right there. All manner of stuff like that. That's fun and silly. Grifter, really? I mean, you can't argue that that's a good lore name. It's obvious what it's aimed for. Harris Pilton, again, the same kind of thing. It's silly. It's stupid. But it's borrowed from another place, and it's liked as a result of that because people get the reference like, oh, look, reference. The same as the Indiana Jones references, the Indiana Jones characters, all that kind of stuff. What's so wrong with that? I don't mind Blizzard borrowing from other games because I like a good game. I don't care where they steal their stuff from. They've got enough strong characters, I feel, to make a strong game. But they've 
also got to find filler because they can't keep killing off their main characters like this. This is not Battlestar Galactica. They can't get away with that. They put Yogg-Saron in there and say, oh, go kill Yogg-Saron. It's like, oh, Yogg-Saron, big intimidating old god thing with tentacles and chisel. Doing flips and chisel. He's on a boat. You can't just say, oh, right, let's go kill Arthas. Now who should we kill? Now who should we kill? Oh, we're out of main protagonists. Or antagonists, as the case may be. Kind of both in the respect of the Lich King. We can't do that. It won't work. So I don't mind the boring in order to create these intimidating kind of things. I'm alright with it. I'm okay. So I don't think... I think it's a non-issue, really. To be honest. I think the people do have to accept that WoW is a hodgepodge. A mishmash kind of melting pot of various different influences. That doesn't make it a bad game. Not in that respect. I think if you're big into the lore, then perhaps you probably should ignore that kind of stuff. Maybe go and read the new book, Arthas, that's going to be coming out uh, towards the end of this month. And word has it that we might be getting some copies, oh yes. So watch this space, you may hear something about that in the coming weeks, oh yeah. I'm pretty much done with this, folks, so it's shout-out time. I am absolutely over time. I'll run out for the shout-outs and then that'll be it. Get some shout-outs to me via tweet. Via tweet. What a stupid name. Via Twitter, via Gmail at themolokagmail.com or PM me on IRC for your shout-outs this evening. Can I have a shout-out to Orhid for listening for the second time now, having to deal with death metal? Oh, dealing with death metal. Nyeh, nyeh, nyeh. It's loud and he's screaming a lot. Oh, dear. Shout-out to Eowyn, Redeemer, Casina, and me for role-playing in our unique armor sets, question mark. Yes, indeed. Can I get a shout-out to Chill Whis- Whisper Scourge on Wormrest US? Because RP is FTW. No, you cannot say FTW. It is out of character. You must be saying, role-playing is verily... Rather fantastic, yes. Verily. And so forth. A shout out to Exaltarigo for surviving the Fargo Flood of 2009. I have no idea what that is, but I'm sure it doesn't sound very good. A shout out. No, I'm not taking DCC private chat requests. Don't send those. A shout out to how long it takes to retrieve an account when a lot of people are getting scammed. Two weeks now. Damn phishing emails. Stop clicking emails. If Blizzard had anything important to say, they'd put it on their front page. Seriously. Stop clicking emails. That say they like about wow. Shout out to all of Dentarge EU apart from Inflames. I like Inflames, but they've got a bit emo lately. Can I give a shout out to the Mining Op and Arcanist Belt from Cluzo? Oh, Zer MG Eve Mining. Spreadsheets in space, let us eat the rocks. I run security for these guys, and I must say the only thing I want to do is run into the middle of their fleet and detonate all of my weapons at the same time, just for a laugh. Hey TV, here with the great shows of metal music. I want to give a shout out to my girl Alternate Reality on Shadow Song EU. We finally down. Sartharon25 through Drakes on Wednesday. Better late than never. Many thanks to us from Kryptonus. Uh, shout out to Maledicta and Kruznik from Steam Weedle Cartel EU. Mal, log on to the bloody team speak. Yeah, I know you listen live today. That's from Ionis on Steam Weedle. There you go. I'm now a glorified messenger service. Hey, GB, shout out to Lachance for beating her manager on Bejule. You bloody know what I mean. How does one beat someone on a completely non-competitive casual game? Lord knows. And shout out to me for dropping bloody profession that was tailoring. Yes, indeed. And starting to make money on herbalism. Good luck in communist future, comrade. Yes, communist while radio is moving towards the future. Ah. Can I get a shout out to... No. I've already shouted out to them. Quit it. A shout out to those who showed up to the Arcanist Belt midweek raid time. Yeah, that's not a lot of them, I must say. A shout out to Cadbot. That's from Daystead. Why are you shouting out to an IRC script? You guys are weird. Get some real friends. A shout out to the Adams family on Dagger Spine, for South on Three Drakes, Ten Man, before even doing it in heroic difficulty. Oh, yeah. A shout out to myself. That's Bear Who Ate Slanik. To any fellow Cambridge University students who might just so happen to be WoW fans, too. A shout out to Snapple Monkey and Seath for putting together and putting up with me on Left 4 Dead. That's from the Ten Elite Hacksaw. Ladies and gentlemen, I am done. My name has been Total Biscuit. You've been listening to Blue. Please check out our other fine shows on iTunes and on WCRadio.com. The next show today will be Wild Things Considered, coming up at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That is midnight GMT with a pre-show one hour beforehand. You can check out the podcast to this show if you missed it. The archive will be coming up relatively shortly. And I will be returning on Sunday, uh, where I will be covering for Octel and Hordak versus the world, and it will be Total and Biscuit against the planet. I'm done, folks. I'm out of here. Thank you ever so much for listening. As always, you have been a fantastic audience, and your patronage is very much appreciated. I'm out. Good night. God bless.